Hi, this is Dr. Dhanush Shekhar. I'm a practicing pediatric gastroenterologist and pediatrician from Chennai. The first section of today's topic, we're going to talk about a quite a few interesting topics. The basic concept of gut microbiota is very important. The term gut microbiota refers to the population of bacteria that is found in the digestive tract, particularly in the large intestine. Now, this gut microbiota aids in the digestion and the breakdown of complex carbohydrates fibers and dietary components and our digestive enzymes that find it difficult to digest. Gut microbiota is very vital to the immune system and we also understand that the gut microbiota contributes to metabolism and body weight management. When you talk about the gut brain axis, we talk about function, behavior and mental health. So the precaution to preserve the gut microbiota is very important. So what are the things that you need to do is to consume a well-balanced diet that is high in fiber, whole grains, fruits and vegetables. Fermented foods such as yogurt, kefir, sauerkraut or kimchi contain beneficial microorganisms. Reduce your consumption of processed foods such as added sugars and artificial sweeteners. Drink plenty of water every day to stay hydrated and stress can be reduced by using relaxation techniques exercising and getting enough sleep. Use antibiotics sparingly and try probiotics when it's really necessary. The liabilities for gut microbiota is very important. Gut microbiota liabilities often refer to potential risks or unfavorable health effects that may result from imbalances or changes in the gut microbial system. Now, when you talk about dysbiosis or an imbalance in the composition of the gut bacteria, which may contribute to the development or progression of various illnesses. And according to some research, changes in the gut microbiota composition may be linked to metabolic illnesses such as obesity, type 2 diabetes and metabolic syndrome. Immune related illnesses such as allergies, asthma, and autoimmune disorders have been linked to imbalances or disturbances in the gut microbial diversity. One of the most important things is the antibiotic use that is excessive or incorrect it can affect the gut microbiome, which is very, very important to know. New research reveals a relationship between gut microbiota and mental health issues such as depression, anxiety, and neurodevelopmental disorders. So contributors to gut microbiota come in as a very important discussion here with diet, as I said before, a fiber rich, fruit and vegetable rich diet fosters a diversified and a healthy gut flora. A diet which is high in processed foods, added sweets and unhealthy fats, on the other hand, may have a negative impact on microbial diversity. So why is breastfeeding important? Because breast milk includes good bacteria called prebiotics, digestible carbohydrates that encourage the growth of beneficial bacteria and immunological components that contribute to the establishment and maintenance of a healthy gut microbiota. Breastfed infants, intestinal bacteria, the composition differs from that of formula fed infants. Antibiotic usage can of course save lives but they can upset the gut microbiota balance by killing harmful and he, you know, helpful bacteria. And antibiotics should be used sparingly and probiotics or other supportive measures should be considered both during and after treatment. Exercise is very important because physically active people have been more healthier and have more diversified microbiomes. Even walking for 30 minutes a day can have a significant influence on your gut health and help these little microbes continue to ensure that your stress levels are regulated and mental health is maintained. So I think it's fair to conclude having spoken so much about different topics. It's very important to understand what we are referring to here, the gut microbiota, which acts like a foundation to your entire life and how it affects, interacts with different systems of your body. Thank you very much and thanks for listening. This is Dr. Danish Shekhar signing off. Please write down your comments and subscribe to our channel and keep watching Gut Microbiota series which is coming very shortly. Thank you very much and bye-bye.